Today's topic of discussion is adrenergic system. Welcome to Pharmacomania. I am, I am Dr. Shahnaz Malik. It is also known as sympathetic, sympathomimetic and adrenergic system. Plays important role in stressful condition including emergency and thus active during fight and flight response. Parasympathetic and sympathetic system bal balance our body. On rest and digest parasympathetic activity is dominant when when you are in fight or flight mode the sympathetic activity is dominant autonomic nervous system is consists of two division sympathetic as well as parasympathetic division parasympathetic division we have already discussed now we are going to discuss sympathetic division it arises from the thoracolumbar division of the spinal cord preganglionic neuron is a lateral cremator horn of the spinal cord segments from T1 to L2 segment and send preganglionic fiber to preganglia near the spinal cord are sympathetic from the sympathetic ganglia and preganglionic fiber release acetylcholine excitatory stimulation ganglionic neuron when sent to the postganglionic fiber this target organ, most postganglionic fiber are releases norepinephrine at the neuroeffector junction. And due to norepinephrine release, fight and flight response can occur. In response of fight and flight, our body releases adrenaline and noradrenaline, which affect various organs of our body assume that big animal is following you then what will be the reaction of our body we have to run away from that animal and so we have to watch for the far vision so dilatation of pupil occur and more oxygen is required so at that time our brain is become alert in and become in alert mode oxygen requirement is more so bronchodilatation occur and to supply oxygen as well as energy increase the force of contraction of heart and increase the heart rate so now now next is requirement of the energy energy is uh, supplied by the uh, by lipolysis and glycogenolysis so lipolysis occur in the fat and glycogenolysis occur in the skeletal muscle as well as in the liver so oxygen as well as energy supplied by the liver as well as skeletal muscle and more uh, blood supply by the uh, heart by increase the force of contraction as well as heart rate now more hold on the bladder and defecation by sphincter uh, increase the tone of the sphincter and relaxation of the detrusor muscle on the bladder so holding of more urine urine and uh, hold holding on the defecation so uh, decrease peristalsis, decrease muscle uh, tone, a smooth muscle tone, and increase sphincter, uh, sphincter tone in the gastrointestinal tract. So, holding of the urine as well as defecation occur. So, no need of the salivation at the time of the fight and flight response, though. Uh, little or viscous salivary secretion and perspiration can occur during uh, uh, runaway. So, skin are wet and perspirated. So in sympathetic nervous system, these are the ganglia and these are the preganglionic fibers are shorter and it releases acetylcholine when postganglionic fiber are longer and they releases noradrenaline, acetylcholine as well as adrenaline. So postganglionic releases noradrenaline and adrenaline is the major hormone of adrenal medulla so adrenal medulla releases adrenaline and dopamine major transmitter in the basal ganglia limbic system and ctz and anterior pituitary these are the uh, parts where in um, part of the brain where dopamine is releases now adrenergic transmission and receptors Neurotransmitter releases are synthesis, storage, release, uptake, and metabolism. These are the five steps of the neurotransmitter releases. Tyrosine from the food 
converted into dopa in presence of tyrosine hydroxylase and dopa 2 dopamine in presence of dopa decarboxylase in the neuronal cytoplasm and this dopamine is converted into norepinephrine in presence of dopamine B hydroxylase and stored this norepinephrine is stored into the vesicle and otherwise it is uh, degraded by enzyme and this norepinephrine is converted into epinephrine at the adrenal medulla this is presynaptic neuron this is postsynaptic neuron this is synaptic cleft tyrosine actively transported to the neuronal cytoplasm where it convert into dopa in presence of hydroxylase enzyme dopa convert into dopamine in presence of decarboxylase enzyme this dopamine enter actively transported to the vesicle where it convert into norepinephrine now norepinephrine is stored into the vesicle otherwise it disturbed by the monoamine oxidase enzyme now this norepine um, vesicle move toward the membrane in presence of whenever action potential generate calcium enter into the neuron and this vesicle move toward the membrane through exocytosis this noradrenaline poured into the uh, synaptic cleft where either it bind to the post synaptic adrenergic receptor alpha beta or pre synaptic adrenergic receptor alpha 2 receptor or it reuptake by the neuron by uptake 1 which is inhibited by cocaine and I th or it um, reuptake 2 is the vesicular uptake it is uh, blocked by the reserpine this uh, nor uh, norepinephrine either it destroyed by the monoamine oxidase or whenever it leaks to the synaptic cleft in the cytoplasm it is destroyed by the uh, catechol or methyl transferase enzyme now release of norepinephrine Whenever action potential generates sodium, calcium and chloride enter and potassium comes out. And so uh, depolarization occur and calcium disrupt the storage of vesicle. This vesicle move toward the membrane and release the norepinephrine into the synaptic cleft. Now this vesicle storage vesicle retained within the nerve terminal and refilled by noradrenaline. Now uptake of norepinephrine. So this is the first we have already seen that uh, whenever norepinephrine released to the synaptic cleft it reuptake by the uh, presynaptic neuron. So first uptake is the uh, neuronal uptake and it inhibited by cocaine and second uptake is the cytoplasm to the vesicle and this is the second uptake and it is this is second uptake and it is inhibited by the reserpine. Now metabolism of norepinephrine. Now norepinephrine stored into the vesicle. Otherwise, it disturbed by the monoamine oxidase enzyme. If in the neuron neuronal cytoplasm, if leak into the cytoplasm, there is a catechol O methyl transferase enzyme is present, which destroys the norepinephrine into the cytoplasm. And ultimate Final metabolites, vinyl mandelic acid excreted through the urine as the sulfate and glucuronide conjugated. Estimation of the vinyl mandelic acid in 24 hours is sample useful in diagnosis of the pheochromocytoma. Normal value of the vinyl mandelic acid is 2 to 4 mg in 24 hours in urine. This is presynaptic neuron, this is postsynaptic neuron, this is synaptic cleft. Tyrosine actively transported to the neuronal cytoplasm where it convert into dopa in presence of hydroxylase enzyme. Dopa convert into dopamine in presence of decarboxylase enzyme. This dopamine enter actively transported to the vesicle where it convert into norepinephrine. Now norepinephrine is stored into the vesicle. Otherwise it disturbed by the monoamine oxidase enzyme. Now this norepine um, vesicle move toward the membrane in presence of whenever action potential generate calcium enter into the neuron and this vesicle move toward the membrane. Through exocytosis this noradrenaline poured into the uh, synaptic cleft where either it bind to the post synaptic 
एडिनर्जिक रिसेप्टर अल्फा बीटा और प्री साइनेप्टिक एडिनर्जिक रिसेप्टर अल्फा टू रिसेप्टर और इट री अपटेक बाय द न्यूरोन बाय अपटेक वन व्हिच इज इनहिबिटेड बाय कोकेन एंड और इट री अपटेक टू इज द वेसिकुलर अपटेक इट इज ब्लॉक बाय द रेजरपिन दिस norepinephrine either it destroy by the monoamine oxidase or whenever it leak through the synaptic cleft in the cytoplasm it is destroyed by the uh, ketoacyl o methyl transferase enzyme so this is the primary transmitters are epinephrine these are the triangular are the cotransmitter now receptors adrenergic receptor are two type alpha receptor and beta receptor again alpha receptor can be subdivided into alpha 1 and alpha 2 when beta receptor can be subdivided into beta 1 beta 2 and beta 3 receptors alpha receptors are g protein coupled receptors alpha 1 receptor is gq means stimulatory receptor when alpha 2 is gi means inhibitory receptor alpha 1 receptor are located at the smooth muscle and causes stimulation of the alpha 1 receptor causes contraction of the smooth muscle so location of the alpha 1 receptors are blood vessel smooth muscle pupillary smooth muscle pyloric smooth muscle urinary sphincter and prostate all these smooth muscle contraction causes uh, very section occur in blood vessel vasoconstriction occur in pupil uh, mitosis occur in pylorus contraction of the pylorus and urinary sphincter causes retention of urine and prostate so in alpha 2 uh, inhibitory type of response occur so pre synaptic uh, nerve terminal uh, stimulation of the alpha 2 receptor they are present at the pre synaptic nerve ending and it is auto receptor which inhibit the release of the norepinephrine difference between alpha 1 and alpha receptors are location of the alpha 1 receptor post junctional on effector organs alpha 2 receptor are located at the pre junction on the nerve ending also post junctional in the brain pancreatic beta cell and extra junctional in the certain blood vessel and platelets function of the alpha as well as beta receptors are alpha receptor is the stimulatory kind of the receptor so it uh, causes contraction of the smooth muscle causes vasoconstriction gland secretion and gut relaxation when alpha 2 receptor is the inhibitory type of the receptor and it inhibit transmission of the release vasoconstriction decrease central sympathetic flow decrease insulin release and platelet aggregations selective agonist of the alpha receptor is the phenylephrine and clonidine for alpha 2 receptor selective antagonist prednisone for alpha 1 receptor and yohimbine for alpha 2 receptor G coupled protein is GQ for alpha 1 and GI for alpha 2 receptor and effector pathway inositol triphosphate and diacylglycerol for and uh, alpha 1 receptor and decrease cyclic amp and increase potassium channel in the alpha 2 receptor beta receptors are subdivided into 3 beta 1 beta 2 and beta 3 all three are stimulatory type of the receptor so first is the heart and kidney beta 1 is present at the uh, heart and kidney so increased force of contraction in the heart if beta 1 is stimulated and increase renin release so in beta 2 receptor are located at the lung causes bronchodilatation present at the blood vessels causes vasodilatation uh, gi tract bladder and uterus are relaxation of this all muscle smooth muscle uh, and decrease peristalsis and digestion and decrease urination glucose uh, glucolysis can occur and lipolysis occur in the adipose tissue and bladder relaxation so retention of urine can occur difference between beta 1 beta 2 and beta 3 receptors location of beta 1 receptors are heart and just acromerulus are in the kidney beta 2 receptor are located on bronchi blood vessel uterus liver gastrointestinal tract urinary tract and eye beta 3 receptor located on the adipose tissue detrusor muscle of the bladder selective agonist of the beta 1 receptor is dobutamine beta 2 receptor salbutamol and terbutaline beta 3 receptor mira background is the 
agonist and antagonist for this three receptor metoprolol for beta 1 receptor this beta 2 and beta 3 receptor antagonist is not important when potency of the noradrenaline and adrenaline are for beta 1 receptor adrenaline is equal to or more potent than the noradrenaline beta 2 receptor adrenaline is more potent than the noradrenaline and on beta 3 receptor noradrenaline is more potent than the adrenaline thank you for watching the video to be continued next time thank you